Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the different types of operators used in Python. So first of all, the basic type of operators we are going to discuss. In the list of basic type of operators, we have the arithmetic operators, relational operators, modulus operators, assignment operators, logical operators and bitwise operators. If you have some idea about the C programming language, then you might have gone through this uh, arithmetical operators like plus, minus, multiply, divide and so on. But here we are also getting some new type of operators like double slash and the double star. The relational operators you have already seen in the other programming languages like C, C++, Java and so on. The same operators also used in Python. Modulus operator is sometimes categorized under the arithmetical operators also. Some, sometimes the modulus operator is treated as a separate operators and the symbol used for the modulus operator is uh, the percentage symbol. The assignment operator as you know that this is a single uh, equal to sign and uh, the other shorthand notation for the assignment is the plus equals to minus equals to multiply equals to and so on. The logical operators is AND or NOT. You might have seen in the C programming language that there are also a logical operators but we were not using the A and D AND. In place of AND we were using the symbol double ampersand. Okay, But here we are directly writing the English letter AND or NOT. The bitwise operator is a single ampersand, vertical bar, tilde, symbol, caret and so on. So we are going to discuss one by one. First of all in this list we are going to discuss about the arithmetical operators that how the arithmetical operator is working. So let's come to the programming part and see how the arithmetical operator works. First of all we are trying to find the sum of the two number for that we are using the plus sign so if I am writing here the x equals to 10 and y equals to 12 and we are trying to find out the sum of the two numbers then directly we can find the sum of the two number using the x plus y. So it will directly print the value of x plus y that is the 22. That's very simple and in place of this plus you can also use the different symbols like multiply if you are trying to find the multiplication of these two numbers then you will get the answer as 120 but what will happen if we will use the double slash symbol and what is the use of this double slash so if i are trying to find the value of the double slash like uh, 12 double slash 5 first uh, we are trying to find the value of a simple division symbol that uh, 12 division 5 then it will return the quotient Okay, so here we are getting the 2.4 it is the fractional division so if we will write here the double slash then we will get the integer value okay so it will simply return 2 rather than 2.5 right another important symbol we are using here is double star to find out the exponent value so if we will write here the 2 into 3 then we will get here the 2 into 3 is 6. But if I will write here the double star then it means the 2 to the power 3 so it will get here the 8. Okay so if you are trying to find the exponential value then you can use here the double star. And the modulus operator you know it is a very simple so if we will try to find the modulus of uh, 12 modulus 3 then it will return the remainder and this time we will get the remainder as 2 because uh, 3 6 cha 18 and the remainder is 2 okay it's simple now in this list the another operator is the relational operator and the relational operator will always return either true or false so if we will compare the value with 20 and 3 and checking whether the 20 is greater than 3 or not then it will return either true or false but this time the 20 is greater than 3 is a right so this time it will return true and if I will write here the 20 is less than or equals to 3 
then it will return false because 20 is less than 3 is false 20 is not less than 3 so it will return false okay and if we are checking whether the 20 is not equals to 3 then it will return here the true because 20 not equal to 3 is right clear so likewise we can also check here the modulus operator we have already seen and in the assignment operator here we are going to see the assignment operator so assignment operator is just assigning the value to the variables so if i write here the x equals to 10 then 10 is assigned into x so value of x becomes 10 and if i want to print the value of x then it will print 10 okay so the 10 is assigned to x if i will write here the x equals to 12 then the value 10 will be replaced by the 12 because the variable will only store the latest value and whatever the value we will uh, store in the previous way that is to be replaced by the new value so this time the value of x becomes 12 right here another important thing we have to discuss is the shorthand notation so if i am trying to find the value of y by incrementing 2 to the x so i will write here the y equals to x plus 2 and this time if i will try to find the value of y then it will print 12 no problem but if i will write here the x then what will happen what will be the value of x now so here the previous value of x is 10 and the 10 plus 2 is 12 and the 12 will be stored in the x so the new value of x becomes 12 right so this time it will return 12 but the same thing can also be written in the shorthand notation like this the plus equals 2 so in place of this statement we can also write here the x plus equals to 2 and we will get the same result okay so if you are trying to find like this the x equals to x multiplied by 4 then the same thing can also be written like so make it the comment line and you will get here the x and multiply equals to 4 and it will uh, gives the answer 40 because x equals to x into 40 if you want to remember these things then you can check here before the equal to sign and after the equal to sign the same symbol are written over there so in place of this 2x we can write here the single x and whatever the operator you are using here in place of this star we can also use the slash uh, plus minus or any operators that operator is to be written over here and after that we have to write the assignment operator and at last whatever the value you have written that value is to be added here so it becomes x plus uh, x uh, multiply equals to 4 right so this time you will get the 40 result x equals to x divided by 4 can also be written as this way that x division equals to 4 and we will get the answer as 2.5 but if you want to find the floor division then in place of single division single slash you can write here the double slash because the double slash we are used to find the floor uh, division and in the floor division it only returns the whole number uh, the fractional part will be removed okay so it will give the answer two now in this list we will uh, talk about the logical operator now and the logical operator will check the, whether the two conditions are true or false so in case of and it will check if both of the condition are true then it will return true otherwise false so if i write here the true and false and if any of the condition becomes false then it will return false so let's check the value of x 
so this time it will return false and if both of the part becomes true uh, true then it will return true clear likewise in or if any one of the condition becomes true then it will return true so if i write like this the true true so if both the condition is true then obviously it will return true but if i will make it false even it will return true because uh, the first condition is true so this time it will return true but if both of the condition becomes false then it will return false clear and in the not it will return the reverse of the conditions so if the condition becomes false then it will turn true and if the condition is true then it will turn false clear so let's check it that not true and not true is false okay so because the uh, we as we know that the boolean value will be either true or false so if i am telling here that it is not true it means it is false and if i will write here not false it means it is true right and the last operator is bitwise operator so the bitwise operator is working on the bit of the two values so if i will writing here the operand like x equals to 10 and uh, y equals to 12 and we are trying to find the and bitwise and of x and y then x and y first of all it will try to find the bit value of x and bit value of y so it will convert this decimal value into binary so in comment i am trying to explain it like 10 is the decimal value and the binary of 10 is 1010 and 12 is the decimal value and the binary is 1100 so it will try to find out the bit and if both of the bit becomes 1 then it will returns 1 otherwise it will return 0 so here both of the bit is 0 so it will return 0 here 1 and 0 so it will returns 0 and here this time 0 and 1 again 0 and here 1 1 so it will turns 1 so answer we will get here is 1 triple 0 and the decimal value of this 1 triple 0 is 8 so we will get answer 8 so let's try to print the value of z and this time hopefully we will get the answer 8 yes it is right and before closing this video uh, I'm just giving you the one uh, problem and you can check yourself and this is the problem for you so here you have to find the output of the given problems right and if you will uh, find the answer then please uh, write your answer in my comment box and i will give you answer for sure thank you